Now Marcel Duchamp must face an extraordinarily terrible masterpiece, Caravaggio's Medusa, a Baroque piece de resistance painted in the early 17th century and from the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. The masterpiece attacks him and immediately drags him into a world made of strong contrasts, marked chiaroscuro effects and Caravaggesque dramatics as we see in the spotlight and the host of friars pursuing him. These penitent friars were painted by Zurbaran, a 17th century Spanish follower of Caravaggio. And the marvelous and terrifying quartered bull by Rembrandt swings menacingly back and forth. Marcel defends himself from the friars, hurling his hammer at them and transforming them into lambs. Yes, that apparent Agnus Dei, painted by Zurbaran, transforms into a mutant animal with the head of a wolf to bring out its fearfulness. Rose c'est la vie. He botched it. He fouled up his first time and lost his first life. Let's hope in the second. Integralism comes out here. Catholic fundamentalism that sent Giordano Bruno to the stake in 1600. Now Marcel has succeeded in freeing himself from these friars and has landed on a geometric floor. Here, Marcel Duchamp is dragged into the dark belly of Caravaggio, into timeless space, into space that absorbs perspective and... What happened? He's fallen off the floor. He's fallen out of the Caravaggesque world. As though he committed suicide. But he still has a third life. And he has to watch out for the Medusa swaying over his head. He has to stay under the spotlight to avoid being struck by the laser rays that coming from its eyes would turn him into stone. But hitting the tangle of serpents on its head with his hammer finally frees it. 